In this presentation we are going to look at probability generating functions. A random variable x has a probability generation, generating function gx of t where g of a, gx of t is given as follows. g of x of t, gx of t is equal to 0 0.4096 plus 0 0.4096 to the power uh, times t and so on. Okay. Now, um, actually I think there's a typo there. I think that should be 3.6. Sorry. There's always typos. Anyway. So determine the probability of probability of x equal to 3 given that get using g uh, gx of t. Okay. Also, we can uh, you're now given that x follows a binomial distribution. Determine the parameter values of the distribution of x. n and p. Okay. Seeing as it's binomial. So we just have to figure out what n and p are. Okay. Now, so this is the main definition of what a probability generating function is for a discrete random variable. Now this question is, uh, asks, asks the question in terms of t, so I'll just actually work that out here. So essentially what this is, just g of t, is the summation of probability of x equal to 0 by t to the power of 0 plus the probability of x equal to 1 times t to the power of 1 plus probability of x equal to 3 by t to the power of 3 and so on. Okay, that's essentially just adjusting z to x or z to t, that's essentially what we have here. And it actually fits the form that we are given here. Okay, so what we have to do here is look at the, what term has a power of 3 there and look at the coefficient associated with it. So it's 0 0.0256, okay? So that's actually ha the answer. Okay, now just looking at the other ones here, the probability of x equal to 0 and x equal to 1 is 0 0.4096. The probability of x equal to 2 is 0 0.1536, which is the correct value there. Okay, uh, 28 was a typo. Okay, so that's the correct value. I'll just write it in there, the co correct coefficient. Uh, probability of x equal to 4 equals 0 0.0016, and the probability of x greater than, equal to, greater than 4 is 0. Okay, that gives us a bit of a clue there. Okay, there's no terms greater than t. Okay, so what we have here is the sample size here. Okay, so uh, n is actually equal to 4, and what we have to do here is compute p. Okay, so that should be 4 there, another typo. I'm having a bad day with typos. So essentially, you know, essentially that's what it means here. The probability, this is what, this is key, the key term here, can't be more than 4. Okay, so it's a binomial uh, distribution, so the upper value is 4, so n is equal to 4. So what we have to do here is find out what p is. Okay, now we both, we know that both probability of x equal to 0 and the probability of x equal to 1 is 0 0.4096. So essentially what we could do is just let them equal to each other, okay, and use the binomial coefficient formulas, formulae, if you want, to actually sort of try and tease it out. So the probability of x equal to 0 is 4 choose 0, which is 1 times p to the power of 0, which is 1, times 1 minus p to the n minus k, so to speak, which is 4, the number of failures. Uh, in this case, that would be 1 minus p to the power of 4. The probability of x equal to 1 is 4 choose 1, times p to the power of 1, times 1 minus p cubed. 4 choose 1 is 4, p to the power of 1 is p, and therefore we have left with 1 minus p cubed. So just simplifying that, we get 1 minus p to the power of 4 to equal to 4p times uh, 1 minus p to the cubed. Okay, so essentially what we could do here is just divide both sides by uh, 1 minus p cubed. That would leave us with 1 minus p on this side, 
4p on this side. That means if just working it out, that means 5p is equal to 1, and therefore p is equal to 0 0.2. So this is probability of success. So therefore, what we're left with here is that this is our answer here. This is the specification that we're looking for. The x is a binomial distribution with n equal to 4, number of independent trials is equal to 4, and the probability of success is 0 0.2. Okay, we'll leave it there.